Hi everyone, it's Marie Recruit from He from All Things Real Estate. And today we're going to be discussing how to choose the right tenant for your home. And you know, we need to uh, repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat of how we choose the right tenant. And I'm actually inviting Natasha Fidali, who has started her own property management group, and she's actually been one of my mentees uh, since October the 31st, 2019. She's going to kind of explain to you what she's learned by me being her mentor. Um, and, you know, the wonderful thing is I, I don't charge. I wasn't charging and I don't charge people if they want to ask me questions. And I certainly have not charged uh, Natasha. So she's not <laughs> being paid to say any of this that she's going to be saying to all of us. But you'll learn from her experiences. And uh, she, you know, she's a real straight shooter. That's why I like Natasha. Uh, love her with all my heart she's a straight shooter she works she's a very hard working woman investor landlord and she's learned you know right deep within the trenches with bad tenants and she's still at this time she still has a bad tenants that she's dealing with and she's going to explain that to all of us how that's coming along and uh it's my pleasure to have natasha join us hi natasha how are you wonderful to see you Hi Maria, I love seeing you. I love I love seeing you, but I feel like I see you every day, sometimes three times a day, because I watch all your shows. <laughs> well, thank you. I hope you, my shows have helped you, Natasha. Listen, as you said earlier, rinse and repeat. I rinse and repeat. I mean, I've watched some shows two and three times, especially Whoa. with that uh, when it's like you and Jay talking about yeah, tenants. Jay I'll watch, yeah. I'll, with Jay Shaw, I'll watch the show over and over because it's hilarious. I know we were having a lot of fun with that, you know? Yes. Yes. And when you are dealing with tenants, um, you're like, yes, of course. Oh yes. Yeah. You're right. That's a good idea. Yep. 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 <laughs> so tell me, what have you learned so far uh, from my shows and just from me, you know, mentoring you, uh, like whenever you needed to talk to me, either on Facebook or by phone yeah. call. What is yeah. it that you've learned now? Because, you know, it's been like how many months since October? So it's going to be a year pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be about a year. You know yeah. what, Maria? I think that we we met in a, in a very interesting way yes. and um, basically online. And I think when you are looking for a mentor, you need to find someone that you can align your values, your goals, your belief systems with, yes. and someone that you can be – honest to the point of raw. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. what I love about you is you're very willing to help everybody. You do shows for free with people mm -hmm. that are unaccessible or who want to charge us. Oh, and that uh, is, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing because for those of us who are honest about our business, mm -hmm. uh, we, we might be struggling financially. Like I cannot go and pay now $5,000 to take a course. No. So no. I need help and I need to talk to someone. Um, and you're, you're always there for everybody. And then, or I'll watch your shows and, and I watch your guests. And yeah. that same advice that they're giving on your show would have maybe cost me $200 an hour. Sure. And as someone who's also a working professional, uh, public yeah. servant in Canada, you know, you really display a lot of leadership with us. Thank you. Thank leaders, you, you know, that. leaders, don't ask for money. No, no. There's, they yeah. share their skills and abilities. So that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, because I want to see people succeed and I've always been a fighter my whole life for the underdog. And right now that the landlord's the underdog, I mean, it's, yeah, we're suffering really badly. Money. Yeah. You're suffering very and badly. And I have a lot of units. I have a lot of units. Yes. Um, I don't talk about it a lot. No. Well, just on your show, and we have a great giggle about it. And, and everybody else does, too, because people ask me all the time. They're like, ha, ha. But um, I, I have a lot of units, and I'm definitely not a newbie. However, you know, you really don't know what's going to happen. And yeah. what I've realized with real estate is it's uh, low ceiling, high floor. Without mm -hmm. deep pockets, it's yes. very difficult. And what I've learned from you as well is that, you know, uh, the best thing to do is be frugal and prudent with how you're moving your money. Yes. 
if I had a business partner right now, and I said this on the last show we did, so mm -hmm. it's a prelude to what we talked mm -hmm. about last time. Mm -hmm. If I had a business partner right now, I would not only be in court for my tenant, but I'd be in court for my business with, with my, uh, say, joint venture partner because they would have to be paying from their salaries yeah. to keep the house going. Yeah. See, that's it's, a really good point. That's why I never went to joint partnerships. My my partners are the bank. My first yeah. mortgage, my second mortgage, they're my best partners, and and they've been really good. Uh, yeah. My partners with the banks have deferred my mortgage for another three months. Okay, uh, the ones yeah. that I the, the um, mortgages that I got uh, privately, they weren't able because the people needed the money. So I kept yeah, them. and imagine you had a bad tenant in those houses. Yeah. Who's gonna yeah. pay? Who's paying for that? You're paying of for course. that, of course, of course. And then the other thing that I did uh, is when I could see that this was going to continue, it wasn't going to stop. This whole mm -hmm. thing was going to continue for many more months. I refinanced one of my properties, and I guess well, I just I just finished refinancing it now that the money's actually coming to me. It took yeah, three months yeah. to get. Is, is that what you did too, Natasha? What did you do? I, I took your advice from day okay. one. Okay. I refinanced. I'm well. I'm in the middle of a refinance. Good. I'm Good. in the middle of all new insurance companies. Okay. Lower, 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 lower money. I'm paying very little now. All new insurance companies, okay. uh, good, good premiums, but um, month the monthly fee is little. I got a line of credit. Okay, and good. I've and good. I've organized everything with the properties so much so I needed help. So I hired uh, like a, an assistant to help me because I also work a full time career that. You know, I'm very honest. That is very beautiful and rewarding. And, and I'm not going to leave my career. Uh, no. Definitely not now. No, no. no I, I love my career. So um, and and I, I've come to realize with throughout all this. And I am so grateful that you always told me, be careful of having partners. Yes. Yes. I, Maria, right now, if I had a joint venture partner and I promised them A, B, C and D. Yeah. Uh, if, if we wouldn't have been two of us working to save the house from our mm -hmm. own salaries, mm -hmm. uh, we would have had to give the house back. Yeah. And, and it's really, it's, it. it's really bad. Like the, the, the tenant is completely off the wall mm -hmm. and I, I take responsibility for it, but there's also, uh, as I, as I said last time, there's also a portion of that responsibility that is. Uh, the province of Ontario and the municipality of Windsor, because yes. she came yes. with an entire team. I know. I and know. they literally were like, tag, you're it. Yeah, exactly. And then they, they, won't, they don't even answer your phone calls. and They don't help you at all when you get, when you have trouble. Mm, no, no. And now I've been, before. yeah. We actually have, a, the, the situation is actually getting more and more dangerous and um, because there's um, minors involved, I've had to actually call other agencies that don't even return my call now. They don't care. So, they don't care. They're overwhelmed. No. They're overwhelmed. It, 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 and all of this has fallen on my shoulders. Yeah. I'm just an yeah. average Canadian from yeah. a, you know, yeah, a know. public servant yeah. home. I have yeah. absolutely no skills to deal with this. I, I, I did not go to university for any of this. No, I know. And I, know. I we are overwhelmed and it that's why choosing the right tenant that fits what you have to do what I've learned from your show mm -hmm. and from all the speakers mm -hmm. you need to know precisely what you are doing, what you want to do yes. and the type of human that mm -hmm. you can have mm -hmm. and deal with on a daily basis because if you self-manage, which is a choice mm -hmm. Yes. Um, they, they become part of your everyday life. Yeah, they do. Exactly. Yeah. That's a really Even good way. Protocols, yes. routine, yes. procedures. I have them all. I have booklets. I have monthly emails. I do it good. all. Good. At the end of the day, my lease is even nothing because the landlord and tenant board mm -hmm. is not going to side with me. And yeah. I am not saying that to be caprice. No. I read everything every day. Landlords in Ontario are suffering yes. badly. Yes, yes. My it's, it's, lease is even garbage. I might yeah. as well shred my lease because exactly. it doesn't matter. It actually no. doesn't matter. The second no. they walk in that door, mm -hmm. it's game on. 
I know, I know. And that's the problem. Yeah. And that's why, you know, like, like I was talking to a friend this morning and he was talking about one case where this, I guess this, there was this one tenant that was moving. He would rent houses all over Toronto and he would get people. I read in. about it. Yeah. I mean, so what rights do you have as, as an owner? You don't even have a You right can't to do anything and you can't even shut up. I mean, this is, this is something that I know probably a lot of people have maybe thought about. Mm -hmm. But there are certain things that even if we do them, we yes. could potentially find ourselves in jail. I know. Could you I imagine? Know could that. you imagine? And most of us are just normal citizens. We just wanted to start a small business, you know, that isn't like a bake shop or <laughs> I don't know, like a waxing studio. I mean, we I just know. wanted to start a small business. I. So it's it's you. What I learned from your shows. Mm -hmm. Question, 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 question. And then leading up to the renting, yes. you need to have so many different protocols that you yes. go over. Yes. Call I me do. tomorrow. Call me at yes. this time. Yes. Yeah. Oh, many, you know many. what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Many, many, many things to see yeah. that if they follow along. And, and you know, I, I'm always honest about this. I'm a teacher. As I'm a, mm -hmm. I'm a teacher sure. as an well. Educator. So it, I'm an educator. So yeah. um, it's kind of like with the students. You have sure. to have all of these things way before yes. to ensure before yeah. you even go into the classroom so that everybody knows how to follow the due process. Mm -hmm. And you know, people think, well, I've been doing this for 20 years, but I made mistakes at the beginning too, you know? Yeah, and they're I, dangerous in our business I've and they're costly. Call, I've had to call the sheriff a couple times, just two times, I think that's all I've had to do in 20 yeah. years. But I've been at the London Tenant Board, but I had a paralegal represent me. Like I've oh, done all always. That I'm I am paralegal heavy. Yeah, I know a lot of people want to do their own documents. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. I tried to do it. And actually, yeah. my that document that I did, which maybe could have moved my case further. The mm -hmm. first document that I did, because, you know, I thought, hey, I know what to do. I'm really yeah. intelligent. Like I went yeah. to university. I'm still of studying course. in university. Of Guess course. what? It was thrown out. It Terrible. was thrown out. Terrible. They threw it out. They're like, you mm -hmm. were short. Yeah, I was short on my document one day Oh, and they threw it out. So no, no, no. I'm like, par let's go paralegal. Yeah. You yeah. know, I retain them and that's yeah. it. Done. Done. Yeah. yeah. And that's where, you know, where you and I were talking about retaining a paralegal, just like you retain a lawyer. Right. So we've yeah. got to think more like business people that we could get yeah, sued yeah. at any time. Anything can happen to us. Anything can happen to our tenants. So I always out try and outthink the tenant of what they're going to do because I've watched all the tricks help me yeah. happening all these years, but there's always a trick somebody tries, right? I mean, they try, but it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. yeah but, but I mean, listen, not, you're, you're not going to do open heart surgery on yourself. No. So <laughs> you know what? Um, actually, you know what? Maybe you'd have better success. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, you yeah, know, I, no, I say that as really, really just jokingly, yeah, yeah, just jokingly. I mean, you are always joking around, eh? yeah, but, it. um, it. yeah, the landlord and tenant board of Ontario is no joke. It's no. not a joke and they're not no. in our favor, even no. when things are like in my case, uh, my case is a very unfortunate case yes. because it's not about the money anymore. Yeah. My case is extremely dangerous and violent and um uh yeah it's like seven eight months and we we've actually been to court once mm -hmm. we've already it, been it, to court on an n7 yeah. for criminal dangerous criminal activity and they haven't and done anything and the, no and it was postponed oh. yeah 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 it's it's yeah. it's really it's very unfortunate and i don't understand why we have this mindset yeah. however i think if we had different parameters around mm -hmm. it i mm -hmm. also believe that tenants would follow suit and they would mm -hmm. understand the repercussions of their actions. Yes. Of course, but they're not, they get away with everything. That's the yeah. problem, right? I mean, there's no consequences to their actions. The consequences fall on the landlord again. So that's it's, why we yeah. have to protect ourselves. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's uh, what's happening is criminal. The other thing is dangerous and it's dangerous yeah. for, for landlords. And it's also, this is not the business for the, for the weak at heart. This is the I used to tell everybody to get into it. If I can no. uh, interrupt you, I used to tell yeah. everybody, you got to get property. You got to get passive income. What I've realized now is that 
I think most people just want to have a few properties, you know, something, you know, a little nest egg. Sure. Um, however, if you, I feel that when you get my opinion only, when you get into it, you need to look a few years ahead. And yes. if you don't know that you can sustain a bad tenant, because yeah. even good tenants have gone rogue dur during sure. COVID, of even course. my good, good tenants went rogue. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I hear, I read it every day on the landlord yeah. watch groups. I know, I know. So it's, it's really, really an interesting time really? to be in this type of business. And if you don't see it as a business, yeah. then it's better not to do it. Absolutely. You know what, you yeah. know, what's better than anything like I and I, I've done programs on this, and I'm going to do it again. The best the best thing for someone if they're starting out is do a rent to own. So yes, to oh, yes, a rent to own. own. Yeah, and much easier. Don't deal with everyday tenants. Do a rent to own because that's why, mm -hmm. you know, when I started, I started with long and short term rentals. I did a bed and breakfast, cottage rental. Then I went into the student rentals, Natasha. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I wanted to go into the rent to owns. And when I when I wanted to go into the rent to owns, I found um, um, a mentor myself that helped me with that. And the reason I did rent to owns is because even in those days in two thousand, because I started 20 years ago, in 2000 at those mm -hmm. times i would hear about the bad things that were happening mm -hmm. with regular tenants mm -hmm. so i said okay what's the best way of doing it well student rentals they come and they go the next mm -hmm. is in homes because the people have money and, and skin in the games and yeah. and they want a home so that's why i did it because it guaranteed me almost a good tenant if let's think, think oh about yeah this, Asha. if someone's going to put twenty thousand or thirty thousand down do you really think they want to lose it no, no. Well, that's how you guarantee a good tenant. If they don't have that money, you don't let them in. So, you know, that yeah. is the way of the future. I see that if you really want to do this seriously and you don't want to have the problems because you and I don't want to have problems. I don't want to have problems. And that's the way to do it. You know what, Maria? I, I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn because I'm sure there's many people better than me. And of course there mm -hmm. is. I'm, I do my best to be a very fair landlord and, you know, I'm someone who loves design and I love mm -hmm. decorating and I love I cleanliness know. and yeah. I, I go to my properties all the time and I, mm -hmm. I really like to take care. So what I've learned from your show mm -hmm. is that when I'm interviewing tenants, I need to have a set almost like the, you know, the game snakes and ladders. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. a snakes and ladders. So I ask this question. Yeah. If I go this way, yeah. uh -huh, what's the next question that comes from here? Yeah. Oh, if, and if that question is not answered properly, then I go right back down. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like course. a puzzle because if someone's going to rent from me, you know, we need to get along and they need to understand my philosophy in life mm -hmm. and my philosophy for my business. You know, it, when you are, you know, example, people who buy certain clothing lines, it's because they align with that philosophy. Yes. So we need to start looking at, we need to actually, as landlords, what I've learned from the show is that I need to do introspective work and sure. I need to look inside myself so that I can look outward at who I want living in my homes. And yeah. of course, if I keep growing, then I'm going to have to hand off this portfolio to a, a say a, a management company. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, I can't say in the next few years exactly what that will look like, but mm -hmm. even so, uh, and now that I manage for other people, the landlord always has the final, I, or I, I don't know, in my opinion, I like to give the landlord the final say of who they're going to choose for their property. Absolutely. I think it's just uh, a very mature thing to do. Yeah. And this way, you know, everyone is responsible and it's transparency. Yes. So I agree. we, I agree. Ha we have to look inside ourselves mm -hmm. to, to see the types of people and you cannot get emotional. I learned yeah. that from watching with you and all the guests, mm -hmm. you cannot get emotional. Mm -hmm. It is not a strength in no. this business. No, no. And the other thing too, is I have an avatar. I know, I know, I have a picture of who I want. I know what they look like. I know what they sound like. I know what they're doing. Yes, and when, that's when the word come, you use. Avatar. So when they come in, oh, 
there they are that's the right one okay and then i just start from there and then i go yeah. and I go, go through the pro the, the the progress just because they're my avatar they may not be the right people because i that's people, also true yeah i've had avatars people coming to me that are avatars but i looked at the way they dressed no, that's not the kind of people I want in there. I mean, they, they fit some yeah. of the criteria, but not all the criteria. And you know what? Yeah. I would say one of the easiest things to do is do your credit check, make sure it's the proper name. Like they have to show you all their paperwork. Otherwise, don't even let them come. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> ID is the ID. Uh, you have to come with at least two pieces of ID. Yeah. The yeah. day that of my, if we're doing a showing, if they followed all the protocols <laughs> yes. for the showing, when they come to the showing, I need two pieces of ID and all the names need to match. Excellent. If there is no linear Excellent. matching there, yeah. and yeah. I, I'm sorry, who are you? Yeah, yeah. And, the, and they'll try and do that, especially now with these bad tenants that are going to be evicted. They have no place to go because if you're a smart landlord, yeah. have you been paying all this time? Like, what have you been doing, right? Have you been yeah. working? Have you been paying? And here, the question is, story. why are you evicted? Why always, are you looking for housing I, during I COVID? Ask, I, I ask them the first thing is, why are you yeah. leaving where you are? And I listen to yeah. what they say. But the other thing, too, is you should be looking at their vehicle. You should be going to their home where they're living right now and go inside, knock on the door. You have paperwork to show you. Let let them see you. You see them in their natural habitat where they are right now. That's what every landlord should be doing. Actually, it's so interesting that you say that, Maria, because I'm, I'm doing work for some landlords in uh, different provinces of Canada mm -hmm. right now, which yeah. is really such a blessing and, yeah. and I, I, I really think it came to me because I've been watching and learning so much that I think sure. it just, you know, the law of attraction yeah. when you're it ready. Does. Yeah, yeah. And um, matter of fact, I, I was able to decipher which tenants would fit the profiles that we were looking for within mm -hmm. seconds. Oh, Literally wow. within. Now that I've learned, I've learned so much from you and your show <laughs> that you. it was, I gave, I gave the homeowners um, a few profiles and I mm -hmm. said these are the ones that I believe fit your philosophy and and what you're looking for for your property and it was it was instantaneous yeah. and yes. you just know that from talking to people asking them to tell you more asking mm -hmm. them about their life and um, just looking at the overall persona however there are imposters there are mm -hmm. imposters oh, always, um, always 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 <laughs> there are imposters. However, I, I, from the show and everything I've learned, it was easy. It was so yeah. easy. It you start easy. to see it pretty fast, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it was so, easy. So tell me what, okay, I know you were in a partnership uh, during the COVID-19. Did the partner walk away? Like what happened there? Uh, no, I have I have a venture partner on mm -hmm. a few projects, mm -hmm. yes. and unfortunately, you know, during COVID, a lot of things became very difficult and very terse, mm -hmm. and it's very difficult for for everyone mm -hmm. in it. Yes. And and what I also realized is that it's great to find venture partners. However, I think that you need to have aligning business ideas, aligning mm -hmm. business profiles, mm -hmm. aligning business personalities. If not, it becomes difficult. Or you yeah. have them just as a ghost or angel investor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that's what I do. And like I say, yeah. the best ones for me, I mean, now I'm getting... The bank. Uh, yeah, of course. Or, the, or bank. Even, the bank is I, my best investor. I know. My, my, the bank is being my best friend, my credit union, you know, they'd be my best friend. But, you know, even if you go like with a private mortgage holder, I do yes. that through, I do that through my mortgage broker. All that paperwork yes. is put properly. I don't do it by myself on my own. It goes through. I may get a second mortgage from friends or whatever else because I've done that and I paid them off and all that. But it's this, it, there's a paper trail for every single thing I do. There's a paper yeah. trail. This is not by words alone. No, no, no. This is not a Mickey Mouse show. No, no, it isn't a that, Mickey Mouse show. <laughs> this is not a Mickey Mouse show. I mean, you know, again from watching all your shows and the different individuals and professionals that are on your show, one of them in particular that I watched twice. Okay. Uh, because I, I'm in my car a lot, you know, with, yeah. with my career, with everything. I'm always yeah. in my car. Yeah. Twice was what happens when you got to give the house back. Yes. Yes. And yeah. that 
I mean, that gave me a whole new perspective because this is my money. I'm mm -hmm. not getting a trillium grant. I'm no. not getting any kind of money from anybody. This is my money, my down payments mm -hmm. that I work one and two and three and four times I over. Know. So I yeah, no, I'm not giving a house back to the bank. No. And then even when they sell it, all the fees that are associated, you know, not to offend anyone, but they're going to take that money. Sure they are. That's sure. It's, it's all written you in know. there. That's why I don't, I don't advise anyone. I didn't, I advised everyone to defer their mortgages, to give yes. yourself breathing space because you can't yes. survive if the tenants aren't paying. And you know what? The if the tenants free. aren't paying, I don't know what <laughs> landlords have been doing. And I was even interviewed by the CBC at the beginning of COVID because I put okay. out a big video about, uh, for tenants. Because I knew this day would come Yes, that the LTB is open, the sheriffs are ready to go, mm -hmm. and they're ready to rock. I knew yeah. this day would come. And it's yeah. unfortunate. It's irresponsible. And the, um, the language and the different notions that were coming out across the province from mm -hmm. important people mm -hmm. was wrong. Yes. Because it put it gave citizens an impression that is wrong. Yes. And yes. now and look they, where we're at. I know, I know, because they don't know the law. See, the problem is that politicians don't know the Landlord and Tenant Board Act. They don't know. Yeah. They don't know the right I'm sorry. The I know they want to do the, the right thing. I know they they're are trying. They're, they're trying to do the right. right thing and appease everyone. But yes. the LTB is mm -hmm. literally like the Ten Commandments. I mean, yes. I deal with police officers and government services mm -hmm. sometimes on an hourly basis, mm -hmm. and they cannot do, police. Yeah. Police. Yeah. Cannot. They look at me and they're like, Natasha, what do you want us to do? Yeah. And I, they're like, we can't do anything. So, and so my situation is both criminal yeah. and dangerous. Yeah, and criminal they, and, they and police, dangerous. And they can't help you at all. And the police cannot help me. So, you know, I mean, it's it. Something needs to give. I watch the Ontario Landlords Group. Love them. Mm -hmm. They're my people. Mm -hmm. Love them. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, something needs to give because yes. this is good. This is going to become very difficult, and we're seeing it in many provinces across Canada right now mm -hmm. we have growing tent cities I mean yes. you know yes. are people are people do they know where we live like below 30 you cannot live outside yeah of course, of course. I, you know so it's it's really important and unfortunately as landlords even if we want to help people which is what yeah. I did For I sure. wanted to be a good, a good Samaritan and a good Canadian. And I wanted to help, you know, a fellow sister. Mm -hmm. And I am now in the spite of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And you tried to help, but they kicked you in the face pretty much. And this is what's happening to all the landlords. Because, yeah. I'm in the spite of my life. In. Yeah. They take people in hoping they can help them and they, they get kicked in the face time and time and time again. That's why I'm hoping. Nobody answers my call. Yeah. Nobody answers my call. And, you know, it's getting to the point now where like it, and I know that a lot of landlords I saw today, the couple in Toronto, I mean, yeah. my heart goes out to them. And, and yeah. I talked to landlords in my area mm -hmm. as well. And, and they're suffering too. We even have on Facebook in my area mm -hmm. in Windsor, Ontario, we have an actual tenant who made a Facebook group mm -hmm. about what's happening to her. Because it's a duplex and she lives yeah. down and they okay. live up. And she made a Facebook group. She has over a thousand people on her group that are watching what's happening to her. Do you know that no one can do anything? The poor yeah. woman. The, yeah, because there's good tenants. I mean, yes. I've got all good tenants and, and I yes. protect them and I protect them. That's why, that's why before somebody can move in, I make sure that they will fit in with that group. I actually, what I do is I send the tenant to the house and let somebody in the house show them around so they can feel each other out. And then yes. I ask them, what do you think about them? Do you think it's going to work out? Do you like them? And if they say, well, no, it's up to you. I said, oh, no. It's up to you. You have to live with them. Yes. And I, you I took that advice of yours yeah. as well. Yeah, of course, you mm -hmm. know. So And so panel interviews. 
Because you know what I thought, Maria? I, I was watching I, I was watching one of your shows. Okay. I was watching one of your shows. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was with. Maybe uh, Scott, the paralegal. Yeah. Maybe it was Scott. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. something hit me. And I said, when I go for a job interview, I mean, I haven't been on one in like 10 years. Yeah. But when people go for a job interview or in my career, if mm -hmm. I want to like have a, like a lateral change, I have yeah. to interview. And there are four superiors mm -hmm. in the room asking yeah. questions and writing down. So I sure. thought, you know what, when you, when, if you want to bring somebody to rent, we're doing yeah. panel interviews this I way because one brain yeah. is great, but four or yeah. three brains yeah. is awesome. What you could do is do it on zoom. Do it on zoom. Yeah. You could do it on yeah. zoom. Yeah. Call and me you in. can ask the tenant, are you comfortable? I have others yeah. that are going to sit in on the interview. Yeah. If the tenant says no, no. then that then might raise a red flag. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. It's going to raise a red flag. A, a good you know, you, you're not going to ask inappropriate, demeaning no, questions. No, Nothing that is no. against human rights, of course. No, no of course but not. Why What's not? Wrong? I mean, especially in my case, because my parents are my, oh my God, my parents, they're my unpaid employees. My parents <laughs> are always at the house. So yeah. actually they should be sitting in on my interviews sure, because sure. they're always there. And now I have the one property that's very dangerous and I can't really have my parents there. What if something mm -hmm. happens to them? Yeah, no, of course. I, uh, you know what I mean? So yes. why not have your handyman at the interview, have sure. your lawyer at the interview. Yeah. You've sure. got the lawyer on retainer anyway. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I and, and I think that's a really good idea. I think that's the way to go in the future. Because about 10 years ago, I wrote an article saying that, is this the end of the small landlord? That was 10 I years ago. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You know? I and saw I'm that. I'm saying the same thing. This is the end of the small landlord, doing it the old-fashioned way. You well, you know what, Maria? Way. I have a very good friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, and she lost her job during COVID, okay. and she found a new job. And for her new job, which is with a gym, in our country, uh, a yeah. very, very popular, awesome gym. Do you know how many interviews she had for her no. job? No, I'm in. Four. Yeah, see? And it's a regular admin position for interviews. Yeah. And a scenario. Do, yeah. And I forgot she had to prepare a scenario. I mean, we can't do, obviously, you know, it would that would be a little bit strange to go that far. However... Yeah. Going forward, I yeah. actually think what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing. This wrong is a scenario. The apartment's yeah. burning down. What do you do? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I, yeah. I really think that as long as you're within your legal rights mm -hmm. and as mm -hmm. long as you're within uh, human yeah. rights code, yeah. what's wrong with that? Nothing Two, wrong. three interviews. Yeah. If they really yeah. want to live there, you know, what's the big deal? I, I think that's a really good idea because more than one landlord hears, hears and sees that person differently than you do. And that's, that's the whole right. point, right? Like mm -hmm. when, I, when I used to go to problem situations, which I've had, I always had somebody else with me as uh, a witness. They didn't have to say anything. I just brought somebody who was taller and bigger than me. And they, all she did, it was a woman, didn't have to, either have to be a man, a woman, and she just stood there watching and listening. Yeah. And then they behave yeah. themselves. Once there's a second person in there, or even a third person, they behave themselves. You know, it's, as we said, there's a lot to learn. It's yes. not a joke. It's a business. No. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's a business that is, you know, you do it's like as I said high floor low ceiling like mm -hmm. it's really you know and I'm I like to be honest I don't like to beat around the bush I guess yeah. that's just my ethnic upbringing just like I am. Just like I'm yeah yeah we're you know yeah. we say things even though hey you know it, we're on we're very honest yeah. yeah and you really have to be careful in this business going forward yes yes yes, yes. it's all you need to do your due due diligence yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's August of 2020. How many people are we going to evict? How many people have been living for free all this time? And how many people? Well, to my knowledge, there are 6,000 applications. I could, this is what I read, but I mean, these numbers are changing on a daily basis. 6,000 active evictions during COVID. And who knows how many before and how many every day? Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. And we're not going to get the two figures. No, we're not going to get the no. two figures at all. And that's, no. that's the problem. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. We're not getting the truth here. We're not getting yeah. the truth. Yeah, and if they, if, you know, I was reading in Vancouver, so in British Columbia, that Mm -hmm. I think if the, if the L1 is under 2000, you need to make a deal with the tenant. However, I think a lot of landlords have been making deals. It's not about making deals anymore. It's about consequences for actions. Mm -hmm. Just like when you're driving your car, you get in an accident, you get a ticket, reckless driving on your phone, whatever it might be. There needs to be consequences for these actions. Housing is a right, but it's also a privilege. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's also a privilege. If you want to be a homeowner with the bank, you got to come with cash and a job. Yeah. And a lot of documentation. So what's the difference with renting? You know, and that's where I, I learned from your show and from listening and, you know, doing reading as well. I've learned that, you know, it's, it's very, very important to know what you're doing because let me tell you, buying a house, mm-hmm. closing on a house, rah, 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 I got the keys. That is, that's like being pregnant. That's easy. But when, when you start renting, that's yeah. when you give birth. That's, that's when it. you give birth and that's when the baby comes out screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know what? Like I say, it's easy buying. It's easy selling. Forget about the BS that you get from these courses. You're going to make a million. You know, you're going to make a million in a couple months. Like, I yeah. mean, we're, I, you know, there's no reality to any of that. I've Not never made a million dollars. And we live in yeah. Canada. So yeah. I, I don't know who's making a million on real estate. If you're buying and selling multiple properties within one year, I mean, they've got to be multi-million dollar properties because yeah. we have capital gains. That's and right. taxation. So, right. yeah. I mean, come on. I don't know. <laughs> you might make a million over a few years or if you yeah. have a, some different strategies. Sure. Uh, but I, I think there needs to be a level of realism yes. when it comes yeah. to being a landlord, when it comes yeah. to being a letting agent, mm-hmm. uh, when it comes to buying and selling properties. It's all great. Buying and selling is the easy part. It's oh, that middle, nothing. that middle yeah. transition yeah. is very yeah. difficult. And I feel that a lot of people are not talking about that. And no, they don't. I, I often will explain to people that it's great to say, well, I'm going to buy this property. It'll appreciate this much. Mm-hmm. Who cares what your appreciation is? I have a, like, a, say me in my situation, because I don't know about others, in mm-hmm. my situation, it doesn't matter what my house has just appreciated. Yeah. My legal bills are so high, yeah. and because in my case, I don't, I can't, I don't only have one, I have a paralegal, but I also need a criminal lawyer. My sure. legal bills are so high, and the damages in that apartment are so severe, that it, even if it appreciated 20000 this year, that 20000 just went to pay my lawyer. I know. I know. That's the problem, right? People don't talk <laughs> right? about that. Yeah, I've always, no. said, I've always said, look, in 20 years of doing business as a, you know, as a real estate investor, I always said, it's easy buying. People talk about buying, making their millions. It's easy selling, making your millions. But it's in between is where you really make your profits. Profit and loss is what people you bring into your home. Forget about everything else. That's where you make your profit or loss. I mean, if you get bad thing or people are destroying your property, where where you know, where is it? I mean, what doesn't make any sense yeah, even going yeah, into that kind of a business? Yeah. There's no and, sense. Um, even all like all the strategies, they all work. Everything works, but mm-hmm. you know, uh, as I said, you know, as I, I said earlier, so all those things are awesome, but if the tenant goes rogue. If yeah. you have a great tenant, they go rogue, something happens, who knows? Yeah. At that point, mm-hmm. you start to realize how the, the business can turn. And yeah. I do I do quarterly checks in the property. We do walkthroughs, quarterly checks. We mm-hmm. do every, I mean, you know, daily, daily. Yeah. I've got a whole team. The whole sure. team, everybody's on it. I've yeah. got cameras, everything, you name sure. it. Yeah. The tenant goes rogue, something yeah. happens, yeah. or... You know, in my case, working with different agencies, et cetera, um, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You go to court, doesn't matter. You know, in a lot of cases, and and it's unfortunate, but this is just the situation that many of us are in. Mm -hmm. It's because you choose the right, not getting the right tenant. You don't have that avatar in your head. You need to have the avatar. You need to know exactly who you're going to rent with. 
-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you, you need to know exactly who you're going to rent with, who you're going to work with. And it's difficult. You, you really need to be very, very stringent yes. of who's going to be in your homes and in your properties. I agree. I agree. And, and don't feel sorry for people. It's going to backfire on you. But listen, Natasha, I'm going to thank you very much for being with me today. We'll have you back. Oh, again. thank you. Uh, Maria, I love to be on your show. Thank I love you. to share my story. And I, I truly hope that my story will help others and that they will not find themselves in my situation. That's why I share it. Because yes. I don't want anyone ever to be in the situation that I'm in, ever. And that's why I produce the show, so people don't have to go through what I went through, right? To get yeah. here. That's why yeah. I do it. I'm not making any money from this, but I'm no. hoping people will join me in my master class. As a matter of fact, I'm working two jobs right now just to keep up. I'm not making any. Of course, there you go. There's an example of a true entrepreneur who has a regular job, which I always advise everyone to do. Get, keep your regular job, and work your real estate slowly on weekends, after hours, right? Which is what I used to do. So I want to thank mm -hmm. you, Natasha. We'll see you in the master class September the 1st, okay? Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. Well, you know what? You've gotten so much for free. Guess what you're going to do when you actually pay for it? Just look at the what? information you get when you pay for it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Uh, God enough. willing. God Thanks, willing. Maria. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, well, that was wonderful. Thank you, Natasha, for being on my show. And we were discussing how to choose the right tenant. And Natasha comes from a place where she has had a, a number of bad tenants, and she still has a number of bad tenants in her home that she's working with the landlord and tenant board to try and evict them. And nothing's you know, like she was saying, she has a criminal lawyer on her, helping her out. She has a paralegal helping her out and nothing's happening. So please, everyone, any landlord, be aware of who you're letting into your house. If you've made the mistake up until now of getting a bad tenant or you have a bad tenant, stop before you take anyone else in the future. Watch my shows, call me up, ask me questions, get a paralegal on your side and choose the right tenant in the future. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. This is Maria Recruit, all things real estate, and thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.